Hey guys, and welcome to Yoga in an Airstream. My name is Stacy, and today's tiny home class is focused on low back. So twisting it out, massaging the low spine, and just giving it lots of love. Because as you know, sitting in a car, traveling, or once you get to your camping spot, doing all the things you have to do, you're bent over a lot, having to set things up. So. Today's giving all of the love to your low back. Go ahead and hop on your mat, hop on your rug, and let's get started. We're gonna start today in a comfortable seated position. So whatever that looks like for you. Maybe it's legs crossed. Maybe it's legs out in front of you. Whatever feels nice. I'm gonna go ahead and cross my legs. We're just settling in, finding a few moments to just close the eyes and find your breath. Sealing off the lips, breathing in and out through the nose. Draw the palms to your heart center. Taking a moment, just thank yourself for showing up today, for giving your body even just a small amount of time to slow down to discover your breath and to find some movement. And go ahead and blink your eyes open. We're gonna go ahead and start in a few rounds of seated cat cow. So if your legs are extended out in front of you, go ahead and draw them in, ankles cross, shoulders relax on an inhale. Gaze up towards the sky, draw the elbows in by your side, open through the heart. As you exhale, tuck the chin in round through the spine. Allow the palms to rest on the knees. Maybe use them as leverage as you pull the spine back. And again, as you inhale, draw your gaze up. Gentle arch in the spine. Exhale as you round and tuck. Take the chin in towards your chest. Just feel the Spine expand. One more round as you inhale. Look up. Draw those elbows in. Really create that space across the chest. And exhale. Draw a line with your nose all the way down. Tuck the chin under. Good. Warming up the spine. Come back to center. Take the arms up overhead, reaching long. Relax the shoulders. And then as you hinge from the hips, we're gonna forward fold. So seated forward fold, nice and easy. Walk the fingertips out in front of you. And then just sway side to side. Feel the low back, get a nice stretch. Stay with the breath. And then we're gonna walk the fingertips back in, nice and slow. Coming back to center, take a shrug with the shoulders up towards the ears, and then slowly release. We're gonna extend the legs out in front of us. Take a moment, maybe remove the flesh from the sit bones. Engage the core as you lengthen through the spine. And then taking the right leg in, planting the right foot Right next to the left knee, we're gonna come into a gentle twist. So take the left arm up high, inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna go ahead and try to hook the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. The right palm comes behind you to the center of the back in line with the center of the back. Your gaze is either towards the sidewall or all the way back behind you if you can. If that feels okay, breathe here. Just taking a gentle seated twist. Ringing out the spine. And as you lengthen, find some more, or as you inhale, find that length in the spine. Lengthen nice and long. And as you exhale, twist a little deeper. Good, come back to center. Maybe draw that right knee in, keeping that length in the spine. 
and then release the right leg out in front of you. So both legs extend long, arms reach up overhead, finding an inhale as you lengthen, as you exhale, fold forward nice and slow. So this is our first seated forward fold. Maybe you bend at the knees, keeping the spine long, the heart reaching forward. When you found your for this point that you can go, you can go ahead and relax the head. Just stretching through the spine, keeping it nice and long. And counter pose to the twist. Good, and then slowly rise up one vertebrae at a time. Going back to seated and then taking the left foot next to the right knee, left knee bends, drawing the belly closer to that left thigh, sitting up nice and tall. You can plant the left palm behind you as you inhale, right arm reaches high, exhale the right elbow hooks on the outside of the left knee. So setting yourself up for a gentle twist on this side. Creating that space. And as you settle in, again, finding length on your inhale, twisting deeper with the exhale. Good, slowly release back to center. Left leg extends long, right next to the right. And setting up for another forward fold. Taking the arms up overhead. Exhale as you gently fold forward. Maybe this time going a little bit further. Again, keeping the spine long until you reach your stopping point. Then you can go ahead and relax the head. So allow the palms to fall wherever they feel most comfortable. Don't try to pull yourself closer. Just allow your body to naturally gravitate towards the earth. Heart reaches towards the knees. And send all of the breath into the low back. And then slowly rising up, coming back to center. We're going to take the knees up towards the sky. Heels come in towards the sitting bones. Maybe draw the arms around the knees as you sit up nice and tall. And then maybe begin to shift the weight onto the sit bones, lifting the heels up off the earth. So beginning to come into our boat pose, strengthening our core muscles as our core helps support our spine. So a healthy spine comes from a healthy core. So activating those abdominal muscles, arms rest by your side. Maybe begin to draw the shins parallel to the earth. If you wanna challenge yourself even more, extend the legs long, keep the heart lifted, breathe. May feel a little shaking. And then slowly release the feet to the earth. We're going to transition onto our back, so make sure you have enough space behind you. Legs extend out in front of you, arms reach out, and then slowly engaging the core, lower yourself all the way down to the earth. Good. Once you arrive, you can draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a little rock side to side. Draw some circles in the sky. And then hugging the right knee and extend the left leg long. We're going to come into a gentle supine twist. So you may need to shift your weight or shift your body over all the way to the right so that you have enough room, but guiding the right knee across the body. And then extending 
the right arm out wide. The gaze can follow the right fingertips. Nice gentle breath here. Good, slowly draw the right knee back to center. And then we're gonna switch it out. Left knee comes in. We're gonna shift our weight over to the left side. Coming as far to the left as you can. And then taking the left knee across the body using the right palm. Again, just being mindful of your space. On this side, we're not gonna be able to extend the left arm out wide. So we'll just allow it to rest in a bent elbow position. Breathe here, gentle supine twist. Good, we'll slowly draw that left knee back to center. And then drawing both knees in, just begin to rock the length of the spine. So just feel the entire spine, get a nice little massage. And then coming back into that seated position, we're gonna transition into our tabletop, cat and cow. So however you'd like to get there, yogi's choice. Just take some movement side to side. And then flowing through three rounds of cat cow in tabletop position, keeping the spine nice and warm. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale as you round and tuck. Good. Again, inhale, gaze up. Exhale, round and tuck. Just feel the spine get all the movement here, keeping everything stabilized. Last one, tuck the chin under, press the floor away, and then come back to neutral spine tabletop position. We're going to plant the left palm to the center of the rug, center of your mat. Take the right arm up high, and then we're coming into a the thread the needle pose. So you're going to thread your right arm underneath your left, coming onto that right shoulder blade, the right shoulder. You're going to take the left arm up overhead if that feels good, or you can wrap around coming into a bind. The main focus here is giving yourself enough space so that the right shoulder can tuck under. You can just feel that gentle twist. And breathe here. Good to come out. If you have a bind, go ahead and unwind the left arm. Plant the left palm into the earth as you remove and release the left or the right arm, reaching it back up towards the sky. Good. Release the right palm to the center of the mat, center of your rug. Take an inhale, left arm goes high. Breathe in. Exhale as you thread the left arm under the right, coming into that thread the needle on the left side. If you don't have enough space to extend the left arm out, just bend at the elbow. Again, just shifting all the way onto the left shoulder. Right arm can reach up overhead. You can also come into a bind. Find your breath. Good. Gently release. We're going to take the right palm, plant it into the earth, pressing into the ground, taking the left arm back under, coming back into tabletop position. And then we'll transition into our child's pose. Big toes to touch, arms extend out overhead, forehead rest on the earth. Take three full breaths here.
Good. Slowly come back to tabletop position and then find your way back into a seated position. So whatever that looks like for you, again, your choice, whatever feels good. Keeping the knees pointing up towards the sky. We have another boat pose coming. You got it. Heels reach towards the sit bones. Open up through the chest. So palms place or, or place around the shins. Shoulders draw back. Begin to shift the weight onto your sit bones as you lift the heels. Try to draw those shins parallel to the earth, keeping the heart lifted. And then maybe extending. Keep breathing. You got it. Two more breaths. <laughs> Good, finally release, extend the legs out in front of you, maybe shift forward so you have enough room to lie back. Extend the arms out in front of you as you slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Challenge here is to go as slow as you can. When you arrive, draw those knees in towards the chest, give yourself a little low back massage. Taking those circles in the sky. And then hugging everything in nice and close. Draw the forehead as close to the knees as you can. Giving yourself a big hug. Thank yourself for showing up on your mat, on your rug today. And taking a deep inhale in through the nose. Fill up the entire body with air as much as you can and then open mouth exhale let it all go body releases to the earth <sighs> legs splay out wide shoulders nestle in arms rest by your side you've arrived in your final resting pose shavasana let go of the breath let go of any control you have over the body. Allow the earth below to support you, to give you everything you need in this moment. You're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. Shavasana is one of my favorite poses. I could stay here for hours on end. But when you're ready, you can go ahead and begin to shift over into a supported fetal position. Take a moment to acknowledge how your body feels. And when you're ready, slowly press yourself up, coming into a comfortable seated position, exactly how we started our practice today. Draw the palms at your heart center. Again, thank yourself for showing up, for dedicating a small amount of time out of your day, not only to slowing down, but also to moving and to breathing. Palms draw to your third eye center for clarity of thoughts, to your lips as you speak words of truth, and to your heart as you go about the rest of your day, the rest of your week, always acting out of love. Coming at you live from Bend, the light in me honors and bows to the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. I will see you guys next week for another episode of Yoga in a Small Space showing you ways that you can invite movements, invite breath into tiny houses. So join me next Wednesday. See you guys soon.